Hello. In the last video, I gave a brief introduction to decision model and notation, or DMN. It contains sufficient information for you to understand today's demo. Let's talk about the demo today. Today, I'm going to show you how to enable the Decision Central's DMN Designer. The Decision Central DMN Designer has been disabled by default because in Decision Manager 7.2, the DMN Designer is just a tag preview. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the DMN Designer to actually create a DMN model. Next thing is that I'm going to deploy the DMN project onto the execution server. And finally, showing you how to interact with the deploy DMN model using REST API. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to create a DMN decision model from start to finish. Let's log into Decision Central. Let's first of all click on the admin button. Click on roles. You see there are two roles, an admin and analyst. I already enabled DMN designer in admin, so this is how you're going to do it if you haven't done it. So let, let me just say just select analyst. And click on editor here right you see there are several different editors that have not been enabled so if you want to enable dnm designer all you need to do is click here and then select save and that's it that is it is that simple now let's get back to the home page I'm not going to save the, the, the information because I already enabled it. Click on Design. Now it shows all the projects I have in my space. If you want to know what exactly this means, you can refer to the part two of my video series. Now, let us create a new project for this particular demo. Let's call it uh, DM and Demo. At asset. There is a DMM preview decision option here. This appears only after we actually enable the DMN designer. Let's click on this. Give it name, call it age classification. Select the package, click OK. Let me just tell you quickly what this decision model is all about. For example, in a car insurance application, you need to have a look at the applicant's age and make a classification, whether he is underaged, is an adult, is a senior. I'm about to create a DMN model which will do that. Take the age and make the classification. As we learned before, this one is the decision so I drag it onto the canvas. And here's the business knowledge model. I drag it here as well. And obviously, we need the input, which is the oval shape here. So I drag it here as well. So what I'm going to do is to join this to the decision. And join this to the decision. Now let us uh, change the name so that uh, it will reflect exactly what we are doing. So change the name to age classification. 
output is a string because we want to classify whether it's underage, adult, or senior. And then we want to change the name here as well. We just call, want to call it a age classification table. We are going to use a decision table to do that. The output data type is string. And then let's look at the input. Let's call it H. Output type is a number. Right, so we have have this uh, hierarchy that uh, well the H classification table is going to provide the logic for the decision H classification to classify the uh, applicant's age. Now let us create a decision table. Just select this and then click on the edit. Well, you we see that is a function definition. So the first thing we need to do is actually clear this and then right click again, uh, double click again and select decision table. And we want to add a parameter because uh, the whole decision table is dependent on age. Now I'm going to modify the input, right? Double click on it. Now I'm going to give it a name because we're using age. We're going to call it age and the type is number. Now I want to enter, like uh, when this applicant is younger than 18, I'm going to call, uh, classify him or her as underage. Insert another row below it. I'm using a range here. A range is one of the constructs, one of the expressions of the friendly enough expression language. This particular range means it starts from 18, including 18, and stops at 65, but excluding 65. So basically it is between 18 and 64 inclusive. When the age falls within this range, I'm going to call, I'm going to classify uh, the applicant as adult. Insert another rule. When the age is greater than or equal to 65, I'm going to classify the applicant as senior. Last thing I want to do is to select a heat policy. We described the heat policy in the last uh, video. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to choose unique in the table. There's no overlapping uh, conditions. Let's get back to the main model. Let's get to age classification. If I select the edit, you see this is undefined. So what I need to do is Select Invocation. As you see, I want to invoke that particular business knowledge model, and the model name is Agile. Uh, sorry, is the uh, Age Classification Table. So I just enter the name here. And you see that in here, you get two different fields to fill in. The first one is the, well, because you are calling, actually invoking this and not this uh, age classification table, you need to uh, map the variable to the age classification table input in that particular, in this particular case is age. And 
when it is a number. And what do I use to map it to, to age in the table? So I'm going to use this row, which is age, that is the input. So that is all I needed. So I want to validate it. When it's done, I want to click on save to save it. Now I can deploy it. I just go back to the uh, project. Say just click on deploy. Now, yes, successfully been deployed. Let's have a look at the deployment. So this is the new deployment. You can see that it's called EMN demo underscore 1.0.0. So how do I interact with this particular uh, application? So now remember this particular name, EMN demo underscore 1.0.0. We'll be using that. This is the API documentation page based on Swagger. It comes out of the box. So if you if we scroll down to DMN, you can see there are two APIs that we can use. The first one is get get the DMN model for a given container. Click on it, click on try it out. Change the response type to JSON because we want to use JSON instead of XML. It's just my personal preference. So this is the name that I ask you to remember, which is when I execute, it comes back with some information. So you can see the important thing here to note are the model namespace and also the model name, right? If you have more than one decision model deployed on one particular DMN project, then you may have multiple entries of this, right? So we'll come back to this. And next, I'm gonna show you how to actually interact with the, your decision uh, DMN model to get the result. Again, click on try it out, change both the uh, parameters to JSON and the response to JSON. Again, we have to enter the name. demo underscore 1.0.0. Now we replace the string with our JSON. Now you can see I need still need to fill out some information in here. The first thing is the model namespace and the second one is model name. So we just scroll up to the previous result. Let's copy this down here, paste it in here, and copy the model name. You can see I'm asking it to classify the, this applicant whose age is 10. Now let us, let us execute. You can see that the age classification is under age because the age is 10. Now let me change this to 18. Execute again. You see that it's adult. Age is 18. Let's Try it one more time. 65 senior. Five. Again, is under age. This is how you interact with your deployed application using the REST API. I just finished discussing the decision model and notation 
or DMN. I should point out that the important thing to note is that it is an OMG standard. The implementation on Decision Manager is Conformance Level 3, which is the highest. And also, there is a DMN designer for you to cre actually create the decision model and deploy it onto Decision Manager for testing and production. In the next video, I'm going to talk about all the other notable features that come with Decision Manager 7. Until the next video, thank you for watching.